something that I learned when I was at Hillbrook, which you students are learning right now, is really how to make an impact, find something you're passionate about, and really act on that. Something that really stuck with me and I think a lot of people. To all the kids out there, you guys aren't the leaders of tomorrow, you are the leaders of today. And something that I took away from really the whole experiment experience being involved in environmental activism really goes back to those four um, Hilbert values. Be kind, be curious, take risks, be your best. Good morning, everyone. Today for our What Matters to Me series with the Scott Center, we are joined by two fabulous Hillbrook alumni, and they are also a sibling duo. And in honor of the International Coastal Cleanup Day that happened this past weekend, the topic of the What Matters to Me series today is a focus on climate change. So I'm gonna turn it over. Rochelle and Ryan are both in high school, so this is a recorded video because they'll be in class during flag. Rochelle is, a, um, is at Los Gatos High School, and Ryan is at Nueva High School. So Rochelle, will you take it away by sharing what matters most to you? Yeah, of course. Um, so I'm Rochelle. I graduated from Hillbrook about four years ago. Uh, it still feels like yesterday that I was walking across the stage getting my diploma and running across the bridge to my classes. Um, and it's been a crazy couple of years in high school, but Everything that I learned at Hillbrook from my teachers and my friends has really stuck with me throughout those years. Something that I learned when I was at Hillbrook, which you students are learning right now, is really how to make an impact, find something you're passionate about, and really act on that. Um, and for me, that was the environment. So something that really matters to me is the climate crisis and what we can do to stop it and I've been able to get involved in a lot of climate activism throughout high school. I joined the environmental outreach club at my high school and last year we actually started a petition and got a composting program approved so when we finally go back to in-person learning um, later this year that will get started. We also have some social med media initiatives and education is a really huge tool that we use. So we're doing some presentations around the community to students, teachers, and different people. Um, another thing that we have going this year, we are trying to get a zero carbon emissions plan approved. We have another petition for that and a letter to some of the administration. So fingers crossed that that gets, goes through. This summer, I attended an eight-day virtual training with former President Al Gore, and I was trained as a climate reality, reality leader too. Um, so that was super helpful for me. It taught me so much more about climate change and how to be a really, a better environmental advocate. And something that I took away from this training and really the whole experiment experience being involved in environmental activism really goes back to those four um, Hilbert values. Be kind, be curious, take risks, be your best. Especially like taking risks and being curious, just signing up for things, even if you're not sure what they're gonna be like and being curious, be your best, always asking questions, working hard, trying to get stuff done. That has really motivated me and one of the women at the training, something that she told me that really stuck with me and I think a lot of people, she was like, to all the kids out there, you guys aren't the leaders of tomorrow, you are the leaders of today. And that's very true. It's a little bit scary when you think about it, at least for me it was. But definitely, whether you're young or old, you really have a lot of change that you can affect if you're in first grade or eighth grade or 12th grade. Um, something that you can do right now that's honestly one of the biggest things that you can do is go home and talk to your family, your mom and dad, your friends, your neighbors, you know, let them know that you really care about the environment and you guys can set up a plan to live more sustainably, eco-friendly and, um, you know, these might seem like kind of small actions, but when you add them up together, they can have a really big impact, especially on people's attitude and awareness 
and knowledge of the issue, which is really most important. So um, I encourage you all to do that. And yeah, climate change is something that really matters to me. Thank you so much, Michelle. Those are great suggestions. And it's, um, it was so great to hear how the Hillbrook Core Values really are connecting with the ways that you are continuing to be a leader in high school and beyond. We're gonna pass it over to your brother, Ryan, now to share a little bit more about what matters to you, Ryan. Okay, so hi, Hillbrook. Um, something that matters to me is making an impact on climate change. Um, I think in large part from Hillbrook, I have grown a desire to make a change, um, all from Hillbrook's wonderful campus, its classes, and the overall community. Um, now, the reason that this matters to me is that we have one Earth and it is headed in the wrong direction, and I feel practically an obligation to help it turn around. Uh, I've done this in many ways, such as building a machine for my capstone project in eighth grade that turns large amounts of carbon dioxide into a small amount of black and white powder, um, or doing a Hillbrook Entrepreneurship Boot Camp over the summer. Um, but something you might do today, this week, or even this year, is just be conscious of the decisions you make, such as not using plastic bottles, or walk when you can instead of drive, um, and reach out to your resources, such as your teachers and parents for guidance on how to make a change on something that matters to you. Awesome, such good advice. It was so great to have you both joining us this morning and we look forward to finding more ways to have you share some of the things that you're doing um, for advocacy. And um, Rochelle, I know you might join us in a sixth grade class and Ryan will be excited to have you perhaps be a capstone coach in mm -hmm. some way. Um, so thank you both for being such great leaders and for joining us this morning. We miss you on the Hillbrook campus, but know that you are doing incredible things in your high school journey.